We're in Massachusetts, so what better place to go than Salem? Witches Museum. Fueled by paranoia, the Salem witch hunts were on. During the late 1600s, 200 people were accused of practicing witchcraft and 20 executed. Today, Salem, Massachusetts is a town steeped in history where you could celebrate Halloween pretty much year round. Hi, Mike and Deb here from Love for Travel TV. We spent just over two weeks in Massachusetts exploring the greater Boston area. Especially the coastlines and the outlying islands. Come on along, we're gonna have some fun. Traveling south from Maine, our first stop was in the town of Gloucester on Cape Ann. Costa retains its small harbor charm with remembrances of its past. We recommend the scenic walk or bike ride along the waterfront, as well as the picturesque coastline drive around the Cape. As we drove south from Cape Ann to Cape Cod, we drove inland just 20 miles outside of Boston so we could have a day at Concord, Massachusetts. Where the Revolutionary War began. It's a very somber, appropriately somber day here at the North Bridge where the first shot that was heard around the world happened. We're at Minutemen National Historic Park. April 19th, 1775. One day that forever changed a country. 9.30 a.m., a shot rang out, an act of treason that ignited an 11-year battle to become a new nation. They marched to defend their colony. They volunteered to serve their king. Both militia and soldiers left their homes, wives, and children. Thousands will never return again.
You simply have to take an hour or even a day to relive the pages of our nation's history at the majestic Minuteman National Historic Park in Massachusetts. Today's agenda is going into Boston on the train. You got the maps? I got all the maps. She's got the maps. I have all the circles, all the directions. We're good. Don't worry, babe. All right. Okay. She's, she's got it handled. A little map folding challenge. I never know how to get it back to the way it originally was. <laughs> Looks good, babe. Okay. Well, the train has been canceled to Boston. I guess we're going to do plan B. What do you want to do? We're going to the beach. The beach. All right. Who's ever going to say no to the beach? <laughs> Let's, Let's do it. Race Point Beach sits at the northernmost part of Cape Cod's national seashore. It straddles the Atlantic Ocean and the mouth of Cape Cod Bay. Oh my gosh, it has everything this Midwestern girl ever imagined the Cape would look like. Windswept sand dunes, seals playing in the surf, and sunlight sparkling off the water. Just a quick hop over the point is Provincetown, or the locals like to say, P-Town. This is a lively tourist town and a great spot for lunch on the water. Next, we explored the islands of Martha's Vineyard, where I grew up, and Nantucket. First up, we loaded our bikes on the high-speed ferry from Hyannis to Oak Bluffs. We rode to the famous Jaws Bridge halfway between Oak Bluffs and Edgartown. Later in the day, we climbed the Edgartown Lighthouse for panoramic views of Chappaquiddick and Nantucket Sound. Our return route took us through the historic gingerbread houses of Martha's Vineyard. Travel tip. If you schedule your visit in August, you'll be treated to their grand illumination night, where the umbrellas, Japanese and Chinese lanterns light up the night.
before boarding the ferry for home, we wrapped up our day on the island with a relaxing glass of wine at the harbor. Our Massachusetts adventure comes to a close with a day trip to Nantucket. On the ferry ride over, we paid the $12 upgrade to have captain's view seats. So sit back and enjoy. The ride is on us. Want to know what's up next? subscribe so you get the notifications. It also helps us to keep these videos coming. That's right. Until next time. Safe travels. Just outside of Boston, so we could go to Con. Next, we explore. <laughs> no, now I can start laughing. Okay. Look, a blue blue. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs>